three, two, one. <laughs> yes! Way to go, Ryan! <laughs> Wow, you're doing great! One more. Wait for it. And clear! <laughs> yes, perfect! Now the wall! The wall! You got this, baby! Ha. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Your turn, Deb. <laughs> this ought to be good. Really? Ah! Just swim to the next obstacle. This is ridiculous. She's never going to make it in time. Don't listen to him. Just keep going, Mrs. DeFrates. This mud is so muddy. <sighs> Said no trained agent ever. You're almost to the ladder. Seriously, what is the point? She's so slow. Ryan, if you can't say something nice, Maybe you shouldn't say anything at all. <sighs> all right, next up, the wall. Whoa, this is really high. You got this. There is no way. Well, I don't know. Give it everything you've got. <sighs> and we're out of time. Oh. Training simulation complete. Performance analysis, failure. Well, one of us failed, that's for sure. Actually, you both did. What? The mission was for both of you to finish the course. I can't help it if she's a turtle. Yes, you can. You can encourage her instead of mocking her the entire time. Oh, please, she's my mom. That's all the more reason. You know, maybe if you tried cheering her on just a little, you'd find that she could run faster, jump higher, and reach farther than she ever thought. I'm sorry, were you saying something? You don't realize this, but your words have the power to make her a better agent. So I'm supposed to lie and tell her how wonderful she is while she belly flops into a puddle of mud? <sighs> Honey, I'm sorry we failed this mission. You're right. It was my fault. See? <sighs> you really just don't get it. I need all of you in my office. Now. Great. Another mission with an unqualified agent for a partner. The local zoo called and they need our help. Apparently, several large animals have disappeared. They escaped? No, vanished. We don't know how or when. I'm talking zebras, giraffes, walruses, large creatures of all kinds. In their pens one minute, and poof, gone the next. Who would want to steal a walrus? Yeah, and how would they get it out without anyone noticing? Do we have any leads? Just one. Bucktooth Becky? Ryan, don't call her that. Come on, have you seen those chompers? Maybe she's the missing walrus. Becky and her ninja chickens escaped from prison a few days ago. We don't know where they are or what they're planning, but I have a feeling it isn't good. Your mission is to stop Becky and find those missing animals. <sighs> All right, boys. What's next? take off your disguises? You think they just let any old birds in here? No, they do not. You gotta be a fancy bird like a peacock to get in this joint. How about my get up? Pretty good, huh? I'll tell you what. You say you're here to sell ice cream, and they just let you ride in. <laughs> but now that we're here, we can finally seek our revenge. For years, we've been mocked. There's little Bucktooth Becky and her little birds. Well, I might be a bit Bucktooth, but I sure in tarnation ain't little, and neither are you. But 
which is why I made this. The Strawberry Shrink Cone! <gasps> now, if anything or anybody thinks that they're bigger than us, we can shrink them down to size. Started with the biggest things we can find! <laughs> We're here. I'm tapping the surveillance now. Got it. All right, you two, be careful. There's no telling where those animals could show up. And some of them might be dangerous. <laughs> Man, have the mosquitoes gotten bad this year. Oh, I have bug spray. No, Mom, please. I'm a professional agent. I don't need my mom to hose me down with bug spray. Okay, just a suggestion. All right, time to spread out and start searching. Everything's in order here. Penguins are here too. I'm heading on to the polar bear. All right, just holler if you find anything suspicious. Aha! Uh -huh. What is it? This is highway robbery. I'm on my way. What'd you find? Did someone steal another animal? This is an outrageous price for a stuffed animal. Really? Absolutely. I mean, even these tiny little figurines will cost you an arm and a leg. They are, however, incredibly lifelike. Mom, we can't waste any more time debating gift shop prices. We are supposed to be finding the missing animals, like real trained agents. What happened? Did you see anything? No. Another animal gone without a trace. Hmm. An animal costume. What now? I have an idea. This is ridiculous. Just give it a shot. I really think this could work. Me too. Great idea, Mrs. DeFrades. Becky seems to be targeting all the larger animals, and a hippo is about as big as it gets. It's the perfect bait. Quick, someone's coming. Back in position. Who is it? Looks like an ice cream salesman and some pretty ugly peacocks. All right, boys, next up, hippo number one, hippo number two. That's not an ice cream salesman, it's Bucktooth. Freeze, Becky! Ryan DeFrades. You're going right back to prison where you belong, and your little birds are going with you. My birds ain't little. I'll show you little. Whoa! What just happened? Where are we? Whoa, where'd they go? <sighs> Grab on! <laughs> Pix! Pix, are you there? Pix, do you copy? Hello? Ryan? Mrs. DeFrades? Hello? Hello? Yes! We're here, Pix! We're here! She must not be able to hear us. Great! What's that? It looks like a giant leaf? This makes no sense. Wait a minute. What if... What if that is a normal-sized leaf and we're actually... I can't stand that Ryan DeFrades. He's like a little ugly prairie dog, always popping up to ruin my plans. He and that pesky mother of his. It ain't enough to just shrink him. We gotta lock him up and throw away the key before they ruin everything. Go 
fun of boys! <laughs> I don't care how bad it smells! Someone's gotta get down there and find those little mini pests! <laughs> me? You want me to do it? What in tarnation has gotten into you two? Don't you know I'm the brains of this here operation? And the beauty to boot? You two bird brains have gotten about as proud as peacocks! Now get your little hind feathers down there and do as I say! Did I say little hind feathers? Wait, I, I didn't mean it like that, boys! Okay, just stay calm. Calm? I'm shorter than a pecan! Just breathe. Now, first things first. We've got to get out of this pond. I can't believe you shrunk me! I raised you birds from before you was hatchlings, and this is the things I get. Now, get that cone and unshrink me right this minute! Now just point it at me and push the red button. The red button. Green to shrink and red to unshrink, you klutzy clucks. Now what are you doing? The user manual? Really? You don't need to read all that, pea brains. Just push the red button and unshrink me before. Uh oh. Um. Whoa! Now wait just a minute. What do you think I am, a squirrel baby? Get out of my face! <laughs> oh come on! My teeth ain't that big. Wait. Put me down, put me down, or so help me, I will shrink you to smithereens! Becky? Alright! And that is how you do it. Now we just need to find Becky and hope her little shrinking device has a reverse mode. Uh, what was that? Dragonfly! It's coming back! Run! It's working! I also have shark repellent, dog spray, skunk scare, and moose removal, just in case. Whoa! What was that? I don't know, but whatever it was, I think it's bigger than the dragonfly. Oh no! It's coming towards us! Uh, hi there. Froggy? Nice, Froggy. Don't move. Gross! Ugh. Oh. oh, no you don't! Gotcha! You're gonna help us get out of here. Hop on, Mom! Froggy? Rat's nest. 
Good job, boy. So, what's the plan now? Search for higher ground and see if we can find Becky. No idea where we are. I am so hungry. As soon as we make it out of this mess, I'm ordering a large barbecue nachos with extra cheese. You mean, if we get out of this. What do you mean, if? Oh, honey. I'm really sorry. This is all my fault. If I hadn't suggested we dress up as hippo bait, we wouldn't be the size of a grape. I shouldn't have come on this mission. In fact, maybe I shouldn't even be an agent. What? That's what you want, isn't it? For me to just quit? I can't climb walls like a ninja or tame a wild frog. I am slow and unqualified, just like you said. I didn't realize you were listening. But you can't quit. Why? You never quit. That's what makes you such a good agent. No matter how bad things get, you never give up. You might not be the fastest or the strongest, but you're brave, and you care about each and every mission. You think I'm brave? You saved me from a giant dragonfly like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Actually, you saved me lots of times, and I never really thank you. And then I forget to tell you all the good stuff you do because, well, you're my mom. I'm really sorry. I guess sometimes it's harder to be encouraging to the people we're the closest to. Because we forget they need it. Oh, honey. And don't worry. We are definitely going to find a way out of this mess. All we need is... A banana. What? A banana up ahead. Come on. Just like the ninja wall. You got it, honey! <gasps> uh, Woohoo! Yes! This is perfect! Way to go, honey! What do you see? I see a tree and Becky! <laughs> Becky? Did she see me? Is she following? What? Who? That naughty squirrel mama! I just escaped the capture of a hideous animal! <laughs> ah! Not again! Please don't eat me! I'm too young to be monkey food!
Ryan, are you there? Ryan, do you copy? Yes, I'm here. But I don't think I'm gonna be here for long. Okay, honey, I have the shrink cone. Make me big, Mama! Oh, dear. Red or green? Uh, red or green? Um, let's see, um... This is all your fault, Rhonda Freudies! My fault? It's always your fault! <sighs> Get me out of here! Hurry! Um, my Mimi's favorite color was red. Let's go with... Red! What's happening? It's not working! What do I do? Don't worry! You're a smart agent, and you never give up! You can figure this out! Mom! Ugh. Way to go, Mom! You rock! Thanks a lot, honey! Your encouragement helped! What? I said, Thanks, honey. Your encouraging words meant a lot. I think we should get out of here. Good idea! Well, folks, Becky and her birds are back off to prison, and most of the shrunken animals have been found and returned to their normal size. Most of the animals? Ow! And there's the last one. Ryan, Deb, congratulations on another successful mission. Thank you, sir. But now that we made it out alive, there's something I need to do. What? You're not going to quit now, are you? No, of course not. But I thought we were going to get barbecue nachos. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Hi, I'm Jeremy, and this is my sister Kendra, and we're the writers of Ryan DeFrady's Secret Agent. In today's episode, Ryan gets hit by a shrink ray at the zoo and learns that unkind words make a person feel small, but encouraging words build others up. This is ridiculous. She's never going to make it in time. Seriously, what is the point? She's so slow. I'll show you, little. I shouldn't have come on this mission. In fact, maybe I shouldn't even be an agent. What? I can't climb walls like a ninja or tame a wild frog. I am slow and unqualified, just like you said. I didn't realize you were listening. Wow, I can't believe Mrs. DeFrades almost gave up on being a secret agent. I know! She's not normally the kind of person to quit when things get hard. That just shows how hurtful Ryan's words really were. You see, no matter how strong or brave we are, sooner or later, all of us face problems bigger than us. Like the ninja wall? Exactly! In times like that, we need other people to encourage us and trust God to be courageous. That reminds me of a guy in the Bible. His name was Joshua. He was the new leader of Israel, and he was about to face a pretty big wall. God wanted to take his people into the promised land, and that meant they needed to conquer the mighty city of Jericho. Jericho was the strongest fortress in all the land and had a massive wall around it. This problem was way bigger than Joshua. He could have easily given up, but instead, Joshua remembered something. Not long before, a man named Moses led God's people. He was a wise leader who had seen God perform many amazing miracles. Moses knew leading God's people into the promised land was not going to be easy. So before he died, he called Joshua in front of all the people and said, Joshua, be strong and courageous. The Lord himself is going to go with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Moses' words reminded Joshua that even though the wall was big, God was bigger. 
Then God gave Joshua a very interesting battle plan. For six days, the army of God marched around the mighty walls of Jericho, blowing their trumpets as they went. But on the seventh day, they marched around seven times, just like God had said. And then everyone turned to Joshua and quietly waited for his next command. Shout, Joshua said, for the Lord has given you the city. The trumpets sounded and the army of God shouted with all their might and the walls of the city fell down. Wow, that's amazing. I know. And just think, Joshua might not have had the courage to obey God if Moses hadn't taken the time to encourage him. The Bible says encourage one another and build each other up. It's important for all of us to remember our words have power. They can tear a person down or they can build them up. Well, that's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining us on Ryan DeFrady's Secret Agent. 